Boston as an ensemble, they have six that they can go the, to. The only caveat to that is sometimes the Celtics team yes. beat themselves. Yes. Right. Sometimes yes. they beat themselves. See, and we hope that's the game, night. We're still waiting. Yeah. We hope it that's is time to get you over to we our fabulous game crew. Mike Breen, Doris Burke, JJ Redick, Lisa Salters. Mike, take it away. All right, Malik, in game one on the NBA's biggest stage, we saw a returning hero for the Celtics who was sensational in the biggest game of his life, but he's now ready for game two. Meanwhile, for the Mavericks and Kyrie Irving, their return to the finals did not go as planned in game one, but certainly a chance for redemption here tonight. And good evening, everyone, with J.J. Redick and Doris Burke, Mike Green on hand, Lisa Salters with us as well. Welcome to Game 2 of the NBA Finals in Game 1. What a punch from the Celtics. And it's always fascinating to see how the Mavericks now will respond here in Game 2. J.J., they've responded beautifully throughout the playoffs, have yet to lose back-to-back -back games. How do they avoid that happening tonight? Defensively, they have to be better at the point of attack. Too many blow -bys on drives led to open Boston Celtic threes. And then offensively, the Celtics are trying to take away the Mavs corner threes and lobs. This makes Luka Doncic's ability to self-create deep jumpers even more important. Dallas has talked about wanting to play faster. Look for Kyrie Irving to attack early in transition. Well, with more on the Mavericks, let's say hello to Lisa Salters. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Mike. Well, Dallas is a perfect 5-0 after a loss this postseason. Jason Kidd said there's no panic in his team. We've lost before, he said, and we've always responded. Kyrie Irving said that perhaps as a group that Dallas just didn't know what to expect in game one, but he said experience. It's the best teacher and that the Mavericks are looking forward to getting back to being who they are tonight. Something to look forward to early, Mike. Mike, in those five Dallas wins this postseason, season following a loss. Luka Doncic has gotten hot early, averaging 12.8 points on 60% shooting in those first quarters. All right, Lisa. Meanwhile, for the Celtics, they're the subject of tonight's Domino's pregame HQ. Game one was a blueprint, Doris, for what we've seen all season. A lot of contributions from a lot of different people. They've been the best team in basketball based in large measure on the strength of their top six and the balance they get there. You touched on KP, missed 38 days between games and was sensational. Jalen Brown stemmed the one serious run with his downhill driving ability in the third quarter. All six of these guys guard their position at a high level all six can play with the basketball in their hands this is what makes this team so dangerous maybe their best performance of the postseason boston has now won eight consecutive games in these playoffs now 13 and 2 overall but dallas they have been perfect in the game twos so something has to give tonight as we get for game two of these nba finals right now to get things started, we'll send it over to longtime public address announcer Eddie Palladino. Good evening and welcome to game two of the 2024 NBA Finals presented by YouTube TV, featuring the Western Conference champion Dallas Mavericks and the Eastern Conference champion, Boston Celtic! At this time, we ask those who are able to please rise as we honor those who have served and continue to serve our country with the presentation of our nation's colors. Tonight, the colors are being presented by the Massachusetts Army National Guard 54th Massachusetts Volunteer Regiment's Honor Guard. And now, for the singing of our national anthem, she has amassed over two billion views on her comedy and music videos. Please welcome Boston-based singer and social media artist, Sheena Melwani. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hail At the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight Oh, the rest 
hearts were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red light, the bombs bursting in air, came through, through the night that I fly. Gina Melwani. We only hang NBA championship banners, 17 of them. Once again, the world champion. You put on this uniform, every great before you won a championship. The NBA Finals are presented by YouTube TV. With YouTube TV, there's never been a better time to be a fan. Try it free. New users only. Terms apply. Cancel anytime. And in part by Bad Boys Ride or Die. Now playing. This presentation of the NBA Finals presented by YouTube TV will continue after this message and a word from our ABC stations. It's been one of the most anticipated finals. And now let's watch it. The Scusi tries to kill the clock. Oh, what a shot. It's a team from Toronto. Watch this. Oh, unbelievable. The NBA championship. Simply amazing. It's the Dallas Mavericks and the Boston Celtics. Game two of the NBA Finals presented by YouTube TV. And there's a new injury concern for Luka Doncic. This happened in game one. Took a charge, a hard shot from Jalen Brown. Not much was thought about it at the time. But Doncic was downgraded to questionable midday today in receiving a lot of treatment, a lot of padding. He says he's fine. And he will be in the starting lineups, but there's no doubt about it. It has been affecting him during the warmups. He's already dealing with knee and ankle issues, and his team is down 0-1. But as mentioned, he is in the starting lineups, and they are brought to you by Lincoln. Derek Jones, Kyrie Irving, Luka Doncic, P.J. Washington, and Daniel Gafford. It's been an outstanding starting five down the stretch and in the playoffs, but they struggle in game one. Meanwhile, the spectacular game five for the Celtics. What an unbelievable total team effort for Boston to take a 1-0 lead. And it's always interesting, the opening minute starts. You know Dallas is the more desperate team. They're the team that you expect to come out with that first punch. Mike, it didn't appear in game one that in the first five minutes they were as prepared to play as they should be. They got beat to a loose ball off the opening tip. Let's watch their comportment here to start this game. 